Which size M.2 drive should you buy? I recently pulled the bottom cover off of an IdeaPad Chromebook gaming laptop from Lenovo, and I found this very odd length M.2. And I thought this was the perfect moment to kind of talk through how to upgrade your SSD with the correct size drive. Now, first and foremost, this is a 2242 drive. Now, that's specifically talking about the length of the drive. I'm going to show you a quick image here that I uh, found on Quora. And this is basically what we are seeing. So the length of the 2242 drive is 1.16 inches long. Now, the confusing part about the drive inside of this Lenovo IdeaPad is that it technically said that the socket was a 2230 socket. However, when I pulled the drive out and I measured it, I found that it was a 1.66 drive. So what that was telling me is they had the width correct, which is pretty, you know, hard to mess up since basically every drive is 0.87 inches wide in regards to the M.2 configuration. But what the problem was is that the length was incorrect. So if you look here, as I slide the drive into the socket, the length would not fit if this was a 1.18 inch drive. So that means that I need the 2242. Now, another thing I wanna point out is as I pull the drive out, I want you to look here at the teeth of the drive. You can see we only have one gap. And we'll switch cameras here. You can see we only have one gap instead of two gaps. So you see that one right there. And if you look on Cora, there is two. There's, there's, you have one bar, two bar, three bar. So two gaps. All right. So technically none of those drives would even fit inside of the laptop I have here because that's the drive I need. So step one, identify the length of your drive. Step two, identify how many notches you have. This only has one notch, but two receptors. Okay. So once we nail that down, then we can start to get some progress here. Now, how do we find the right drive, say, when we're going to purchase? Now, quickly, before we move forward, let's identify another drive. So if we're trying to make a purchase of a larger size drive, we know what we're working with. So this is the Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X16. And as I pull this drive out of the bay, you can see, again, we have only one notch. So two receptors, one notch. All right. So if I were gonna go ahead and swap the drive out, I could easily grab this drive here. Now the question is, what kind of drive is this? What is the length of this drive? So let's measure this really quickly. This looks like it is 3.15. All right, so this is a 3.15 in length drive, which means we're looking for a 2280 drive. We're not looking for the full length of the 221100. Let me show you that really quickly. So you can see we'll be looking for this drive. It's the 3.15 length drive. This is honestly the most common drive you will find in a laptop. So this laptop here, this is the 2280. And this swappable one here is the 2280. Honestly, this is the most common drive, this 2280. It's the drive we just pulled out of the system and it's a drive I had laying around to replace it. This drive, however, is where we get the uncommonness. This is where the weird drives come in. So we're talking about the 2230 and specifically this is a 2242. All right, so let's head on over to Amazon and try and find the correct drive so we can go ahead and swap out this 128 gig pipsqueak of a drive for something a little more substantial. Now, I definitely recommend checking out Sabrent. They have some really great drive and they have a lot of flexibility in the gigabytes as well as the actual size of the drive so you can fit them into the correct laptop that you have. All right, let's go ahead and switch over here to Amazon. You can see right now I'm looking at the 2230s. So if I were to have followed the specific numbering on the socket, I would have ended up choosing a 2230. However, the problem with that, and let's scroll down into the information here on Amazon, as you can see that this is a 1.18 length drive. Now, if I were to have followed the socket here on the motherboard, it would have had led me to a 2230 Sabrent drive, right? So I think I got the right one. However, if I did not measure the drive, 
I would not know the correct length. And therefore, when I went down here to the information on the drive at 1.18, I'd have said, okay, yeah, I guess that sounds right. Maybe we'll pick that drive. However, because I measured the length, I can come over here to this other Sabrent drive. This is a 2242 drive. You can see already it looks longer. So let's go scroll back up here. See, this one looks a little bit shorter than this one. So already I'm feeling like, okay, this one looks more correct. But in order to make sure that we proof it out, let's head down to the bottom of the listing. And you can see here that it's a 1.17. I mean, they just basically, you know, round it up from 1.66. But this is the drive that you would need to purchase for the IdeaPad gaming Chromebook that I have before me or, you know, whatever laptop that you have. But specifically this one, we would need the 2242. So it's really important when you're going to upgrade your drive that you're measuring the drive if it is an oddly shaped or odd in length drive. So again, this is a very common drive, a 2280, and you might be able to find the numbering on the drive when you pull it out, but it's going to be not as common, not as obvious. You're going to have to look very faintly at the numbering etched on the actual module. They usually don't have it on the specific product information on the drive, like here, the naming SKU. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you have any other questions or comments on how to find the right drive, the right RAM sticks, I'd love to make some videos, but I thought this was a perfect opportunity to help you pick the right drive when upgrading your laptop. I'll see you here in the next video.